Hey guys, we're live here with TaylorMade um, for the PSI Iron Q&A. Uh, my name is Toma Bystead. I'm the Director of Product Creation um, for Irons here at TaylorMade. So um, thank you all for uh, you know tuning in and obviously submitting questions. That's why we're all here to answer questions about the product. Um, you know, I've been intimately working on this product for the better part of the last two years. So um, it's my pleasure obviously to, to answer any questions anybody might have on this. So. Um, super excited about it. Um, we've got a bunch of questions already coming in from Facebook and Twitter. Um, so we'll start with those, but please feel free to post more questions um, down below here uh, in the comments section of the video. Uh, and we'll try to get to as many of those as we can. So let's get rolling. The first question I got here is from Connor Byrne. Uh, and he's asking, why should somebody change the PSI irons? Uh, what difference would it give to their game? Well, um, it really depends where you're coming from, but PSI is designed really for a better player. And uh, if you're starting off with, a, with an iron that's a muscle back type product or a blade iron um, or something that's more of a tour type iron, uh, what you'd see with PSI is a lot more performance, a lot more distance, a lot more forgiveness, um, while retaining really that same look and feel that you're used to. Um, so that's, that's the first part of it. If you're sort of on the other end of the spectrum and you're looking at maybe going from a distance iron or a game improvement club into something that's more player oriented. Uh, the PSI is a great um, sort of a stepping stone to, towards a touring iron. And I think it really sort of delivers in all those things that, that, that you want to get from a better player iron, workability, uh, really consistent distance, uh, great trajectory, great span, uh, and great sound and feel uh, first and foremost, uh, while not really giving up any distance. So this is designed, the PSI is designed to be a very long club uh, but really to give you that distance in a very consistent manner. So uh, we're using a lot of technologies to get there. Um, we, we have um, inverted cone technology, obviously, since we've had it for a long time, but more importantly, speed pocket and face slots. These technologies on the face and the bottom of the club uh, really enhance uh, forgiveness when you hit it heel toe and, and low in the face. And I've got a club here uh, where I can show those things to you. So um, again, where we got the uh, uh, the face here, you can see the face slots on the heel and the toe of the club. Again, it's giving that extra flexibility. Um, again, when you miss a little bit heel and toe. And that's really, again, to, to prevent the center from having any kind of a hot spot. So when you're hitting it a little bit on the toe side, you're, you're gonna get very similar ball speed, very similar launch angle to when you're hitting it um, in the center. Uh, likewise, on the bottom here, you'll see the speed pocket. Um, that speed pocket here um, is sort of a a little a cut through channel that goes into the cavity and again it's enhancing that flexibility of the sole um, on any shots hit low in the face so again when you look at the sweet spot we, we've sort of brought it from the size of a, of a of a nickel here to really expand it all the way to the heel and the toe and the bottom and again good players are looking for that you're looking for consistency because when you're trying to hit it 175 you want it to go 175 not 185 or 165 so uh, again, really all about that consistency. So that's really what PSI is going to bring to a player uh, who's, again, graduating maybe from a game improvement club. If you're getting better as a golfer, um, there's some of the things to think about. The next question we have here is from City at CS City uh, on Twitter. How do these irons fit in the handicap range compared to RSI 1 and RSI 2? Um, so this is a question we do get a lot because obviously as we evolve our product lines uh, and bring new families to the market, uh, you're going to have to obviously learn what these new families, where they fit in the line and, and sort of, you know, how they're, how they're targeted for golfers. The, um, these, these irons are definitely for a better player. Uh, we, we've designed the look and the feel to really sort of uh, tug at the heartstrings and be, and, and be sort of that, that kind of emotional club that people want to play uh, as a single digit handicap golfer. Now, what we've done with the technology and really with the performance of the iron though, is really inviting more people to play that kind of technology. So. Um, we certainly think if you're a 10 or a 13 or a 15 handicap player, you will love these irons from a technology standpoint and from a performance standpoint. Uh, and it will sort of, you know, give you a hint that, hey, I'm, I'm getting better. I, I'm, I'm an aspirational player uh, and I want to get into some, something that's a little bit more serious. So in terms of a handicap range, back to the question, uh, the RSI one, uh, I would say loosely would be in your sort of uh, probably five or 10, all the way up to a 20 or a 30 handicap range. The RSI 2 was targeted more towards a sort of a five to 15 handicap player. Uh, with that in mind, the PSI is really from your zero to 10 to 15 um, uh, handicap player. And obviously we have the PSI Tour as well, which is even for that better player, I would say, 
you really want to be a five or better at that point, maybe even scratch or better to play the PSI tour. All right, so John from Maryland is asking, what does the new 360 degree undercut do for the face and for durability? Uh, the 360 degree undercut is a way for us to expand the unsupported face area. Um, and I have a cutaway here that I can kind of show that to you guys. Um, let's see if I can get the, the angle right where you can see it. There you go. Uh, you can see this kind of um, hauled out portion of the top in the top line here. Um, there we go. Um, and then on the bottom here as well is, is cut, undercut all the way. So you see how thin that face is all the way up. And that's really what's expanding that sweet, uh, sweet spot in the club. It's expanding the, the flexibility of the golf club. And that's really what that 360 degree undercut is doing for us. Uh, and that's really what, why it's in the club. It's, it's basically making a smaller iron behave more like a bigger iron. Um, in terms of durability, um, obviously all these clubs are tested thoroughly for durability. We don't want any faces cracking or, or caving in. Uh, but like a high performance racing car, for example, they are designed at the limit to, to really uh, perform. So we do have to test that very thoroughly because some of these parts are, you know, are really thin and, and, and uh, um, we want to be on the right side of the durability uh, uh, scope for sure though. Uh, the next question from Caleb uh, Vercheck and Bruce uh, Bryce Vick, uh, in the playing position, would you be able to tell that this is a cavity back or will it resemble a blade? Now, the look and the feel of the PSI iron uh, was definitely targeted to a better player, uh, but the standard PSI iron is not going to look like a bladed address. We don't want to intimidate the golfer overly and say, wow, it's going to be really hard to hit this club or or give the player that the forgiveness isn't there in the club. So it's really a balancing act of getting the right size and shape um, to, to give the guy confidence and, and feel like you can still work the ball while still having an inviting uh, and sort of a, I would say, a non-intimidating look. Uh, moving on to the PSI Tour, however, that iron was designed to look virtually like a muscle back at address. And that club, uh, again, when you put the club down on the ground, you are not going to be able to really tell the difference between um, a PSI Tour and what would have been a muscle back like a T, uh, TPMB that we've had in the line before. All right, so the next question, um, Steve from Texas, can you describe the multi-material construction badge and how this feels different than past models? So now, one of the biggest um, technological advancements and the performance improvements of the PSI has been the uh, new badge in the iron. So uh, we have a couple of little pieces here that I, that I brought that are sort of kind of demonstrating what we're trying to do with, uh, with the damping in the club. Uh, basically, one of the biggest challenges that we have um, is that the badge um, doesn't do enough work when the faces are really fast. So uh, we try to take um, some of these multi-material uh, dampening materials like the high barb damper, uh, incorporate that into the iron and basically make it uh, softer feeling at, at address or at, or at impact. And so uh, when you look at the cutaway here that we have again in the, in the four iron, you can see um, that we have a uh, a dampening piece here. Uh, so this is new. This is a high bar piece under compression in the cavity um, combined with this badge that sits on top of the, the thinnest part of the face here. And that's, uh, it's an ABS plastic. It has aluminum and carbon fiber in here and all those materials kind of working together uh, to really create that soft, solid feel and impact. All right, so we're gonna get a question or take a question now from the YouTube feed. Um, what type of material is the PSI made out of? Okay, so that's a great question because we do have actually several different materials in the set. Uh, in the long irons, uh, we're using a 450 uh, stainless steel. It's a 450 stainless steel, high strength, uh, a little harder steel, really to get that, uh, be able to make that thin face um, and very um, sort of uh, high COR, high speed uh, material. As we get into the short irons and the wedges, uh, we're starting to incorporate forgings and 1025 carbon steel. So uh, in the again, this is the eight through the pitching wedge. We do have a 1025 carbon steel front uh, with a 431 stainless back. Um, and then in the A wedge and the sand wedge, it's a one piece forged 1025 carbon steel construction. So again, a lot of materials in the steel and obviously the badge itself has a lot of other materials as well. Um, Another question from YouTube, uh, Michael Hagmeyer is asking, what is the difference between the normal PSI and the PSI Tour? Um, the short answer is, 
it's targeted at different players. The PSI Tour is smaller, more compact, shorter blade length, while the PSI is a little bit larger, a little more forgiving, and does uh, provide a lot more ball speed. Uh, and so really as a golfer, you gotta decide, you know, what's more important to you. When, when we talk to the guys, for example, on the PGA Tour, uh, a lot of those guys are looking at the PSI Tour as more of a uh, blade type iron, as a, you know, more of a feel workability oriented club. Uh, and the PSI is really for the guy who's looking for a little bit more distance, a little more performance, and a little more forgiveness. Um, and so really, again, uh, they're both towards the better end of, player end of the spectrum, um, but really the PSI Tour is just that little bit smaller, a little more players oriented. All right, so back to um, another question here from uh, James in Chicago. What are the benefits of integrating Hybrar into the badge, and has this been done before with any other irons? Um, well, the way that we're doing it in this iron uh, is brand new. Um, there have been um, tests that we've done on previous products that we, where we've used Hybrar in different uh, applications, but certainly in this iron, uh, it's a brand new way of, of uh, kind of treating it. So we not only use a Hybrar material, but we're using it all throughout the cavity. So again, if you look at the golf club, uh, which I'll put up here, we can see if we can get the close up going. There we go. You can actually see the high bar all along the inside of the undercut, right? So typically, uh, when we used high bar in the past um, on some products, it's been a little uh, piece or um, just under the cavity, maybe the, you know this um, sort of a 10 millimeter size piece. Now we have it in the whole cavity. Plus, now it's again under compression. Uh, and it's really doing a lot more work. So it is a brand new application uh, of using Hybrar uh, here with TaylorMade. And, and so um, some of the performance in terms of the sound and feel that you're seeing is really thanks to that material. Okay, so the next question is from Jeff and he's asking, how much have you strengthened the loft compared to standard lofts? Um, well, uh, with the PSI Tour, first of all, we've really gone to tour standard tour lofts. And these are the traditional lofts that you'd see in a muscle back iron or similar. Uh, and these lofts are about six, uh, six iron would be about 30 degrees, uh, pitching wedge about 47. Um, and that's kind of what we've had in the past with muscle backs and other clubs like that. Uh, with a standard PSI, you know, as we've added a faster face, we've added speed pocket and face slots, um, these things are all causing the ball to launch higher. Uh, and when you launch the ball higher, obviously you end up in a position where if you keep the normal lofts, you're going to hit it too high. So uh, we've strengthened the the lofts between two and two and a half degrees uh, really from that formula um, to get to the point where we get the same spin rates, same launch angles as the PSI Tour in the regular PSI. And that's really what the good players are looking for. They're not looking for a loft degree per se. They're looking for the ball launching kind of in a certain window. They want, you know, if you sort of hit, hit a shot and you look up, you want that ball to be in the air in a certain window with the right spin rate. Uh, in order to land soft on the greens uh, and have the right amount of control in the wind and things like that. So the lofts are stronger, yes, but it is because of the technology that we use that provides an additional launch uh, and additional spin rates. All right, so Cal McCoy is asking, do most TaylorMade pros play them or do they play the RSI? Now, that's a great question. We uh, Every year when we brought, bring new irons to tour players, obviously they, um, they face the, the challenge of moving out of an existing iron that they probably like a lot, they've played well with it, uh, and moving into a new iron. Uh, we have recently launched PSI to Tour over the last few weeks. We brought them at thefries.com for the first time, um, and we've gotten great conversion on this product. So, you know, considering how many sets we've had out there and how little time guys have played with them, the fact that we now have uh, about 10 players already in the PSI, um, we're really positive about that. And obviously we already had a win with it, with Justin Rose playing in Hong Kong uh, with the PSI Tour. So we're really excited about that. We think that uh, you know by January, February time frame, we're gonna have the vast majority of our tour staff playing PSI or PSI Tour. Uh, and so you know that's, that's really what we try to do with this product. We try to make sure that our best players are the best players in the world um, are playing what, what we really think is the best product. Um, Jay Allward um, has asked, how did you improve the acoustics? Well, that kind of goes back to the earlier point we talked about the high bar material. Obviously, really big thing with good players. You know, when we ask guys like Justin Rose, you know, what do they value the most in the iron is feel. Um, 
and we know for uh, for golf clubs sound equates to feel and with this iron again to really uh, pass the, that threshold of, of being authentic to the best players out there it had to sound and feel great so uh, really again it was pretty simple the technologies that we used um, in the PSI were again the high bar damper in the cavity um, and the badge sound managing badge as well as how we designed the geometry of the metal portion so uh, the thickness of the top line has an effect um, where we put the thickness pads sort of in the, in the back cavity here all have an effect on the sound and you know we as a company are obsessed about the sound of our products whether you look at an iron or a driver or a fairway wood uh, they have to sound and feel great and so a lot of the work that went into this product was really around making sure that that sound and feel was was awesome and and uh, the feedback we've had so far in this product and in our testing and obviously with our tour player has, has just been off the charts so we're we're excited about that we think uh, we really uh, nailed it with sound and feel and the acoustics again which is so important so thanks for that question because I do think uh, it's something we definitely want to talk about with this product um, the other question from PJBXU is uh, are there any manufacturers using speed slots well uh, what was funny is Adams used to use um, slots in their irons as well and obviously Adams um, was um, was part of the Telmed portfolio is part of the Telmed portfolio and uh, we acquired them as a company a few years ago and sort of taking both best of both worlds in some cases in terms of the technology and, and we've really been on the forefront of that but other companies are starting to put it in their products we're, we're seeing a few other brands um, adding slots and obviously it's a testament to the fact that the, the slot technology both in this in the sole and other place of the club really work and so um, we're going to continue to push down that road we, we know that that's a very meaningful technology and and it provides a lot of benefits to golfers uh, Jay Smith is asking about shafts and what shafts do these clubs come with? Well, uh, shafts are, you know, they're, they're a big topic nowadays. People look for all kinds of shafts to play and, um, and obviously people have, have sort of preferences in their minds. They've heard from friends, this shaft is good and that shaft is good. We work a lot with our shaft uh, vendor partners um, like KBS um, and other companies like True Temper and MRC and, and Aldi and all these companies we work with in Fujikura. Uh, to find the best shafts for metal woods and irons and everything else and for this particular product uh, we work together with KBS on a product called the C taper uh, 105 and this is a um, kind of a look at the at the label here um, it's a um, it's a stepless shaft uh, with a chrome finish and, and really um, you know first and foremost looks outstanding um, but it, it is a um, an interesting uh, construction typically you know steel shafts have steps in them and and the stepless shaft is, is a technology again that that provides a little bit of a stiffer profile a little bit more more control uh, we we see a lot of good players with higher club head speed on tour playing uh, project project x shafts kbs c taper c taper lights shafts like that that, that really uh, provide a little more stiffness and what's great about the 105 uh, c taper product is that it provides a lot of that stability and stiffness in the product uh, but without the extra weight so we're, we're kind of a lightweight shaft in the 100 105 gram range to really get the benefit of some of the lightweight in terms of the club head speed that you can get uh, you know kind of reduce fatigue and all those great things while still maintain that stability play, you know playability and accuracy that you expect from a little bit of a, a kind of a lower torque stiffer uh, shaft so that's a steel shaft in the graphite we're uh, we're offering stock a uh, MRC from Mitsubishi Rayon, MRC Kurokage iron shaft, and that's a new shaft that, that again we worked on, on with those guys, and, and it's and it's had great feedback so far. It comes in kind of a progressive weight um, uh, setup where the 80, uh, 80 gram shaft is a regular, 90 is a stiff, and we have a 100 X flex as well. Uh, in addition to that, we're actually offering. Um, a whole bunch of shafts that no upcharging custom. So if no, if neither of those shafts are really what you want or work what works best for your game, uh, we we can also offer it in, in shafts like Project X, Dynamic Gold, uh, a couple of graphite options, uh, KBS Tour, C Tapers. All these shafts are available at uh, at no upcharging custom. So again, really, you know, we want you to play the iron technology, experience the great things in the iron, uh, and really get the shaft that works best with that for you. So. Uh, Finally, here we have a question from uh, Todd Hamilton. Um, I wonder if that's a tour player, Todd Hamilton. I don't know. Um, probably not. But uh, he's asking, would these irons be good for someone like me, uh, who is a 13 handicap? So I guess it's not the tour, tour player, Todd Hamilton. Um, or are they for better players? Well, I think, uh, Todd, that you're in the 
sweet spot of a lot of uh, what we're targeting with this player. If you are the guy, kind of guy, first of all, who's even posting a question to this forum and you're obviously engaged in your product, you, you want to learn more, uh, my guess is that, that you practice um, a lot and, and you want to improve and get to single digits, this iron will be right up your wheelhouse. It's going to be a little smaller than the other clubs that you might be considering, um, but it's going to have a ton of performance, a lot of forgiveness, uh, great feel, uh, a great look, and obviously it's going to go really far as well. So uh, I would love for you to try this iron and, and, and you know, you know, put a comment in if you've tested them out and see if you like them, and we'd love to hear from you and, and see how you get on with them. But I think that would be a great fit for you. Uh, actually, we did have another question here um, on YouTube from Peter1550. Uh, he says, can you describe the best shaft head combination for a seven handicapper looking for a higher launch? Now, you know, it really depends a little bit on your club head speed, but you know, for higher launch guys, a lot of times the graphite option is really good, you know, and I, I, I would um, certainly look at that stock Kurokage shaft we have, it's excellent. Uh, it does provide a little bit higher launch than the typical steel option. Um, there's also uh, steel options in custom, um, like some of the KBS options, KBS 90. We also have XB 95 from True Temper, which is a great high launching shaft, um, as well as a Nippon 950. So there again, there's some high launch options in there, and you know I'd really encourage you to get uh, you know get fit from a pro or have somebody look at your swing who really knows what they're looking for. Um, and obviously then try to get the right shaft profile and also the right flex uh, for your swing speed. So, uh, but again, there's a lot of great uh, options out there. And again, in custom, you can get most of our options at no upcharge. So that's a, that's a great benefit there. Um, I think we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up there. Um, thanks everybody for your questions. Uh, awesome discussion. I, lo I love to you know, hear from all you guys. So excited you know, when you're working on a product to finally you know, you know, hear people being interested in them and playing them and, and getting uh, a lot of uh, great feedback. So, you know, just to recap, obviously PSI is off to a great start out there on tour. We've had a win, like I said. Uh, next time you see J Justin Rose playing with him, you're going to see him playing with a club that looks like this. Um, uh, it will have the gold badge in the back of his uh, PSI tours. Uh, so we're super excited to see that. Uh, obviously, he, uh, um, one of the guys that, that, you know, we worked with so closely in the development of the PSI and, and to, to see him almost out of the gate with a win um, with his win in, in, in Hong Kong was, was phenomenal. So uh, he even awarded the PSI his three iron his v MVP for that week. So we were super excited about that. Um, you know, if you if you want to hear more about you know what we're doing on tour and everything, we have an inside the ropes kind of a blog on tailmadegolf.com, and so you know a lot more will be posted there. Um, we'll also love to hear from you actually on on other topics that we can cover in these kind of live forums. This is our first one we've done. Uh, but you know, if you think of other topics that you think would be good, other people that you'd like to talk to besides me, um, can't imagine why you'd want to do that. But uh, I'm sure there's some good stuff out there. Um, with that, we're gonna we're gonna sign off and say thanks everyone and and you know happy golfing and please try the PSI.